quantifiers allow us to say whether a predicate is true for every object in its domain or some object in its domain, and you'll find that statements like these show up all the time in mathematics. The universal statement, which is read for all x, p of x is true. This thing right here is called the universal quantifier. means that the predicate p of x will make a true statement when applied for any object in its domain. So here is an example. If p of x is the predicate from the last video, x plus 2 is equal to 4. And the domain is the integers, then the universal statement says every integer plus 2 is 4. And of course that is false. However, what if our domain was just the integer 2? Alright, and then our universal statement says every integer that is 2 plus 2 makes 4. That statement would actually be true. So now this example is kind of silly because we usually wouldn't take our domain to just be the integer 2, but it goes to show you that the truth value of a quantified statement can change depending on the domain. The existential statement, which is read, there exists an x such that p of x is true. This thing here is this time called the existential quantifier. Says that the statement p of x is true for at least one object in its domain. Let's have an example. p of x, again, x plus 2 equals 4. Let's this time have the domain of x be the integers. And then this time, the statement something plus 2 is 4 or more accurately, some integer plus 2 is 4. Is true on the domain of the integers, because of course that integer is 2. If we change the domain to be the set of negative integers, then the statement some negative integer plus 2 equals 4. is, of course, false. The scope of a quantifier is really important. It refers to the statements that the quantifier applies to. So let's keep p of x to be x plus 2 equals 4. Let's introduce the predicate r of x. to be the statement x is odd on the domain of the integers. Both of these statements we're going to think about having the domain of the integers. If I write there exists an x such that p of x and there exists an x such that r of x, each of these existential quantifiers is only referring to the predicate immediately in front of it. Without parentheses, we assume that a quantifier is only applying to the predicate that's right next to it. So this statement says an integer plus 2 is 4 and an integer, not necessarily the same one, is odd. And that statement is definitely true. There is an integer that plus 2 makes 4, and there is an integer that is odd. Now if I use a single quantifier, and I wrap the statement p of x and r of x in parentheses, I get the statement, there is an integer which plus 2 makes 4, and is odd. And you'll find that statement to be false, because the only integer plus 2 that makes 4 is 2, and 2 is not an odd integer. Finally, the expression there exists an x such that p of x and r of x, written this way with no parentheses, is actually not a statement. 
because this p of x has a quantifier, but the r of x has no quantifier.